Good morning, everybody. It's Trisha Lee, and I was pretty confident on the way out here that uh, this mare that we've been waiting on was going to have her foal, uh, which would be the first foal of uh, 2014 and this breeding season. And I don't know what's going on. She didn't have her foal, but um, something's going on because my mentor has her locked out here. And she's been going outside every day, so for some reason he's decided to keep her in the arena. But she is still fat, big and fat and pregnant. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe today's the day, so I don't know. Maybe by tomorrow, or maybe if we're really lucky before I leave today, we'll get to uh, meet this new fool that's going. Oh, sorry, I'm zoomed in. <laughs> but, and also, I'm a little annoyed. I don't want to complain. However, um, some of my friends here, Scope and Sunfire, and she's not very happy about it. And um, Sawyer are staying in today because I got a note that says, please leave Scope, Sunfire, and Sawyer in tomorrow morning. Farrier is here in the AM. Well, that's all well and good. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm usually here at six. And so um, the person that left me that note, I've never, ever seen her here before eight in the morning. And the time that I seen her at eight in the morning was once, uh, cause the dentist was here um, working on horse teeth. So I don't really get it. Um, if she's not gonna be here till eight or nine, usually it's later like 10 or 12. But if she's not gonna be here till eight or nine, why is it that these horses can't go outside for like two or three hours until they come? I don't know. I just figured that her and uh, the farrier are too lazy to go out in the field and um, bring them in or they figure they're too hard to catch, which I've never experienced. I found all these horses easy to catch, especially uh, Sunfire and Sawyer are in little private pens, so like they're super simple to catch. So I don't understand why they ha can't go out for a couple hours and we so we can clean their stalls and they can get a little fresh air before the farrier comes and does his uh, horse torture abuse to their hooves, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> not my horses, not my worry. I'm just really, really, really excited about having my own barn like this where horses will always get to be outside if they choose. I'm really excited. My plan is to have a passive access barn where uh, there's bedding and hay for them but they have the free choice of whether they want to come in, whether it's to get out of the wind or the cold or get away from flies. Um, they can decide if they want to come in or not and be able to go in and out at their own will. And once a day, I want to be able to kick everybody out and just power wash the place and then uh, open it back up so they can come in if they so choose. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, my partner was like, yeah, horses will never go in, but I figure that if there's, if they know there's hay and water and shelter, they'll go in. But anyway, my idea is to have um, automatic doors like they have at Walmart, <laughs> except uh, of course made of like wood or metal, but when the horse walks by, a sensor opens the door and then they can say, hey, hmm, do I want to go in there or not? And if they decide not, they walk away and the door will close. And of course, my barn's not going to be heated because that's just crazy. That is solely for the comfort of the owners of these horses and the trainers. It's not for the horses. They have big fur coats. They don't need heat. So my barn will not be heated. Um, I may have heaters in my arena. Uh, that's yet to be determined, but I'm super excited. I've got my mentor here, and then I've got a lady who I used to work for at another barn and uh, I'm gonna be consulting with them and they'll be helping me design my barn, which I want to build out of square bales, which is a really interesting, unique green type of construction and I'm super duper excited about it. So um, 
watch this space and you'll get to see uh, the new foal that comes along here in the next couple days. And also in the near future, you'll be able to follow me uh, during the construction of my own big fancy barn like this one. It's pretty cool, eh? Mm -hmm. So every day I come here super duper early, like six in the morning, and I kind of waltz through here and just imagine that it's my place. And <laughs> imagination is super powerful. So go ahead and use your imagination to start imagining your life the way that you want it to be. And slowly but surely, the universe will guide you towards achieving everything that you've ever wanted. Believe it, it works. <laughs> so use that imagination. Uh, I seen this picture the other day. It says that uh, worry is a waste of, or an abuse of imagination, and that's true. Don't worry about stuff. Focus your imagination on what you want to get, and it will be yours. So uh, I guess that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and if I don't see you in the future, I will see you in the pasture or maybe here in the barn. So go out there and make it a great day.